Attitude Part 4. This video covers bus lanes, bus stops, traveling behind a large vehicle, positioning in road, large vehicles, a lorry overtaking you, trams. And on the road again we go. Not too much further to go now. Mum, let's be honest, there's still quite a way to go. Ah, but not as far as we have already travelled. Thank goodness for that. Why are there cars in the bus lane? If you look at the sign there, Ben, it shows that the bus lane is only in use between Monday to Friday, 7am to 10am, and 4pm to 6.30pm. So outside of those times, anyone can use it. Ah, OK. Is that the case on all bus lanes? No. If no times of use are shown, then the bus lane is in operation 24 hours a day and you cannot use it. Oh, OK. That makes sense. Ben, you should always be wary of large vehicles. If a bus is at a bus stop signalling right, you should give way to it. You should always give way to buses and coaches. But won't that reduce your view of the road ahead? When following a large vehicle, whether it's a bus or lorry, you should keep well back. This will allow you a better view of the road ahead and you'll be able to be seen in the vehicle's mirrors. Um, why is the bus signalling left but moving to the right? Do you think the driver has turned the wrong indicator on? Probably not. Large vehicles need extra room to turn. So you'll often see them move over in the opposite direction to allow them more turning room. Oh, OK. That makes sense too. I'm learning quite a bit today. I'm looking forward to when I'm able to drive. Why are you slowing down, Dad? There's a lorry trying to overtake. It's taking quite a while to do so. I thought I'd let it pass so it's not holding up traffic behind. It shouldn't have tried to overtake them, really, should it? Well, long, heavily laden lorries will take longer, especially on an uphill gradient. Right, it's time to come off the dual carriageway now. That's a weird sign. I've never seen one of those before. What is it? Diamond-shaped signs provide instructions to tram operators. Trams equals Light Rapid Transits, LRT. These systems tend to operate in built-up urban areas, such as cities, and are powered by electricity. They run on tracks, so cannot steer to avoid you. You must therefore make sure you do not drive on or block tram routes. The tracks on which trams run are also a risk for cyclists, so you should bear this in mind. OK, that's enough. I think it's best we recap before moving on. This sign shows that the bus lane is in operation Monday to Friday between 7am and 10am and 4pm to 6.30pm. If no times are displayed, then the bus lane is in operation 24 hours a day. Bus stops. If safe to do so, give way. Positioning in road, large vehicles. They need more room to manoeuvre. Travelling behind a large vehicle. Keep well back to allow you a better view of the road ahead and you'll be seen in the vehicle's mirrors. Lorry overtaking you. If possible, let the vehicle pass so it's not holding up traffic. Large vehicles take longer to overtake due to their length and weight. Trams equals Light Rapid Transits, LRT. Powered by electricity. 
Cyclists are at risk as their wheels can get stuck in the tracks. Operate in urban areas. Cannot steer to avoid you. Run on tracks. Do not drive on or block routes.